Good, good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Donna. Today is September 30th, 2015. I received a, a vision from the Lord, a dream, I should say, from the Lord yesterday, the 29th, and um, there, there are three of them, short ones. Um, briefly, I was woken up at... Um, 3:45, and the Lord gave me a quick vision, and then I took, I went, up, got up, went into the living room, and got the book and the Holy Word, and I started to, to read Scripture. Um, fell back into a sleep, and then the Lord gave me another quick vision, and then when I came home from work, I went into prayer to meditate on what I was given, and. Uh, the Lord gave me another dream. So I'm going to share each and every one of them because the Lord said it's very important and I cannot idle. And so I'm being obedient. Today, like I said, um, is the 30th. This was given to me yesterday on the 29th. The first one, um, this is urgent. It's called Urgent, the Day of the Lord's Anger. Okay. Um, the first dream was given to me. It was at 3.45 a.m. Um, I was suspended in air. I was not part of the dream, but I was suspended, and I was looking up at a mountain. And on top of this mountain, it was all rock. And um, on top of as I was looking out and up towards this mountain, I saw Jesus standing on the rock. And he was coming towards the end, uh, the edge, like he's coming down. And... He kind of backed up. He started backing up. It was like uh, the rock was given away. Um, that was the end of the dream. It was very quick. The What I got the feeling on that is what we need to watch our footing. We need to be careful and the great falling away. That's the feeling I received on that. Lord gave me John one twenty three, and I'm going to read that. And he said, I am the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. He get, Lord also gave me 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17 to um, 17 to 21. Sorry. Command those who are rich in the present age not to be haughty, not to trust in uncertain riches, but in a living God. Who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Let them be good. I'm sorry. Let them do good. That they be rich in good works. Ready to give. Willing to share. Store up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come. That they may lo lay hold on eternal life. O oh, Timothy, guard what you committed to your trust. Avoid the profane and idle babbling and contradiction of what is falsely called knowledge. By professing it, some have strayed concerning the faith. Grace be with you. Amen. And basically, that's what the Lord's saying. Be careful of the island babbling and contradiction. We are seeing that. Uh, we just heard the Pope. Um, someone try it. Uh, 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 doesn't matter. We heard the Pope speaking blasphemy, um, saying that Christ, um, humanly speaking, failed on the cross. If that was true, then he would never have risen. He, he wouldn't have connected us to the Father. He's the mediator. When we pray for repentance of our sin, we don't need a priest. Jesus takes it to the Lord, to Abba Father. Um, he took our sickness our illnesses, our curses away. He showed us how to walk righteous. He showed us how to defeat the enemy. He saved us from damnation. Um, so, him saying that, um, I've heard that it over and over again. So, um, when I heard it, the Holy Spirit, my insides was trembling. I, and I truly believe I was feeling the Holy Spirit and, and Lord's anger. Um, so it was very deceptive. Okay, so the next dream I was given, it was at 6.45, 6.15 a.m. this morning. Yesterday morning, 
Okay, and it has to do with that last passage, uh, storing up, um, storing up good works. Be ready, be willing to share. Okay, that's my feeling. I was in a store. It was either Kmart or Walmart, and I was looking to buy a duffel bag, and the color was um, a cloth color. Okay, it was really large. It was like a super huge, large uh, uh, pocketbook. But I remember looking at it, it was like a, it didn't have any straps to wear on your back. I wanted a duffel bag, um, but it had like a pocketbook. So I remember looking at it, it didn't have any compartments. I said, oh, I could put some clothes in there. Okay, so I decided at the last moment not to buy this pocketbook. But now I'm outside in a car and in front of a chain of stores that's the shape of an L. As I'm sitting outside the parking lot in the car at the curb, I see a man and a woman, or I know it was man and female, male and female. They were, um, I don't know, I just got the feeling of confusion, a little chaos going on, some chaos, but I, I couldn't tell if it was... Um, like the feeling of the dream, what they felt wasn't important, but I just knew it was some chaos going on. I was outside of one of the stores, and to the left was a um, clothing store, and then the next store was, I was supposed to go and buy a duffel bag or something, but all of a sudden it, the store changed and became an electronic store, so I was very confused and wondering what happened to the store, and um, that was the end of the dream, but upon that, awakening, awakening, coming up out of that sleep, I heard the hour has come. So I get the feeling of confusion and um, upheaval. And um, at first when I woke up, I was, I was very confused about all this. So um, Lord saying we need to be very careful. Okay, so I'm going to share uh, the Lord saying, be careful of lying tongues, evil doings, um, speaking with lying tongue is all for, is all, it defiles your, defiles you, your body. Okay, um, Lord led me to James 3, 1 verse 18, um, and that's all sorts of evil. Be careful of lying lips and deception. Okay, Second Corinthians eleven one through fifteen, the deception, and that's what the Lord is revealing that the deception is come. Even Satan himself, who came, he came to us as um, transformed himself as an angel of light. So we need to know the knowledge of the Word of God's holy Bible. Okay, we must read and try to understand it, ask for wisdom, because the people that the false Christ will rise to deception. So many people will be deceived. So if you're not in the Word, and if you're not trying to understand the Word, but if you just take what you hear as truth, many people will perish. And that's what the Lord is saying in Acts uh, 28, 25, verse 20. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going too fast. My phone happens to shut off. That's why I'm trying to speed up. Um, in Acts 28, verse 25 to 27, Reading and understanding uh, what you're hearing and not um, like people's eyes are dull, their um, ears are dull, so you're not able to hear and see. So people are going to fall by the deception. That's why the Lord's saying be very careful what you hear, what you uh, see. Please go in prayer. Do not trust man. Trust in the Lord thy God only. Okay? Um, when I came home to meditate, the Lord had given me this dream um, at 5.30 p.m. To, on the 29th. Okay. The feeling I got in the dream, I was out west. And I was in either, uh, either in a park lot or on an overlook on a mountain where you can overlook on the landscape, the valley. Um, but I happened to look up, up at the mountain and I could, I got the feeling that it was like parking up above, 
but I also felt like a hello port, like something we were waiting for something to land. Okay, this has to do with CERN. This is my feeling on everything. This is what's leading up to everything is CERN. Okay, so looking up at the at this hello port waiting for something or someone that's supposed to be very important that a lot of people will be deceived by. Um, like a lot of people right now are believing and worshiping um, this Pope. It's abomination. You're worshiping a, a, a man. You don't look up to anyone but the Lord thy God. You can admire someone, but to follow someone and to think he's a saint is a sin. Um, this man said, seek the Blessed Mother. It's Throughout scripture it doesn't say to um, you only go to the one true living God, that's Yeshua HaMashiach, the Abba Father, great I Am. Okay, so back to the dream. The next thing I was at a farmhouse. This farmhouse... Um, I, I saw st stalls, horse store stalls. It was I believe it was four of them. Um, could be the four horsemen, the four horses, horsemen coming. Um, but I got a feeling it was a bus, but a, a stall. So it was very strange. So the arrival, oh, the arrival. Thank you. The arrival, in the barn, the stalls. Okay. Uh, this, the the stalls had um, was all wood, and then it came with black. Um, each each stall had black uh, windows that was tainted black, but it was faded. You so you can see out. It wasn't totally black, um, and they were red. Okay, so that to me is the red rising up. Like uh, the grok, it's symbolic as the time of the red rising up and the blue are the saints, ready to go home. Um, so it's the red rising, the four horsemen, that's what I'm getting from that too. Um, next thing I was, um, next thing I remember I was walking down the street of the house where I grew up and I was walking down Prospect and I saw a woman who's a friend of mine, and she, she was black. I think it, the blackness represents the darkness of the time that we're in. But I entered her house, and I sat on a, a tan chair, a leather chair, and my hair was so super long, it was covering my eyes, and she was surprised to see me. I was there to get a haircut, and she acted very surprised, but she's white. She's a white woman. And, um... She's, she was taken off guard that I was there, and I looked to the left, and I saw the Bible, the Holy Word, was next to me. Um, so I was getting the hair cut. They, um, her being taken off guard is the darkness arising. Her eyes are closed. That's why the my eyes, the hair, the bangs were covering my eyes. Um, and the word. Maybe she, let's pray. Yeah, many people will receive the word and receive the Lord thy God. Okay, so the word. Getting a haircut. Next, I was back in the barn looking at, looking to the left. And the red stalls were coming into the house. And the, I saw it was a boy, but I wasn't sure if it was a boy or a girl. Um, but they were happy, and I heard or saw writing. It said, you must read, write, study. And I got the feeling the three R's. Okay, and that was the end. Um, Luke 3. Luke 9, 3-5, it says, Take nothing for the journey, neither staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money. Do not take two tonics apiece. Whatever house you enter, stay there for, and from 
there depart, and whoever will not receive you, you will go out of the city, shake off very dust from your feet, and then as a testimony against them. And that's why the Lord was showing the darkness, okay? The darkness of the time, me entering into the house. And that's why the Lord led me to Luke 9, verse 35 to 35. As we go out, uh, we'll be, um, if people aren't willing to receive the Lord, then we we leave in peace, okay? Um, the Lord has led me a lot of scriptures, okay? This has to do with CERN, and the last, yesterday, it was like confirmation after confirmation of the Lord. Um, I shared, I, I texted my friend in the morning, I said, listen, <laughs> I heard this this morning, the hour has come from the Lord, and she sent me a link and said, listen to this, this is confirmation to what you were just saying to me. So I listened to this video, and from it's called... The YouTube channel is called God Loves Through Us, His Family. Now, this young girl is a Jewish girl. Um, three of her siblings get prophetic messages from the Lord. And um, she spoke about CERN and the aliens and deception, the three days of darkness. And I was like, oh my goodness. Um... Because the night before, before the Lord gave me this, I was asking the Lord about CERN. Because um, I I heard B Benjamin Brock and I was praying on it. And the Lord has led me to, within a day, of all this information. And he's telling me not to be idle. I need to put it up. And I was seeking it. And I said, well, can I do it tomorrow? No, idle. Then I went to do something and he told me to repent. Because I got into the worldly thing. So I'm being obedient. And that's why I'm sharing this. Okay, now this girl, she, she, I listened to her video. And I was like, all of a sudden I felt this fear. Because Bren, Benjamin Brock, Barack, prophetic man, the Lord has revealed to him why September 23rd was so important. It was because that's when they were starting up CERN and running it for 40 days. And which will end November 2nd. Now, they're going to be celebrating, calling up the dead, rising the dead. We have Halloween. Then on the first, we have All Saints. And then I think on the second, it's called the Day of the Dead. So we have three days of darkness. And, the, wow, I feel the present, Father. I thank you. Um, three days. So expect things to start happening. Um, are they going to happen right away? I don't know, but Lord saying prepare, okay? But they are calling up um, the dead, and that's why CERN is running for 40 days, and which ends after these evil days um, of their worship time. So um, that's why September 23rd was so important. Please, people, do not be upset that nothing happens. You know what? If you got in the Word and read the Word, if you don't understand it, like um, ask for discernment and wisdom, the Lord will reveal it to you. It says, it says in Scripture that the elects, the children will be here to see some things. We will not go through tribulation, but we'll see some sorrows. So um, just know, stand on faith, and the Lord will guide you. Okay, so now the Lord led me to a book. Okay, so I started reading about the book. Um, about education and teaching because at the end of the dream it was about reading writing and studying and I was thinking wow because early this morning I was like wow this girl is so intelligent look at all the the views that she has and it's very short and direct I said why can't I be like that <laughs> my video seemed to be way too long and I can't never seem to shorten it so Make a long story short, um, as I'm reading about this story, how the school, the secondary school education started in the 19th century, <coughs> my phone pings, and this young lady who put this video up, I had commented on what the Lord had told me, and I had said that the Lord has told me the hour has come. She texted 
she sent me a little note back and she said while she was in prayer today that she heard that the time is at hand and that was today so I received that her her message the video that she put up several days ago like four days ago I only got it today after I told my friend she shared it to me and then my friend also sends me another link to my Facebook page and it was about the three days of darkness and what it's just it's all just confirmation okay that we must be prepared we're gonna see signs in the skies you're gonna have time to get to your house get to your family stay in prayer stay um, inside close your windows close your blinds do not open it up for no one, for anyone, because the devil will deceive you. Okay, he will try to get in, you get in, they can destroy you. Anyone who goes out is going to be destroyed by these demonic entities that are going to fall on this earth. Okay, so the Lord gave me um, Acts 27, 15, 24, and I, the feeling I got with that was the three days of darkness, and that um, Paul's journey, that the Christ... Uh, when Christ comes on the three days as we're here in our house praying and seeking the Lord, the Lord will go and visit each and every person on this planet with his uh, with Abba Father or angel. But Christ will be going and entering. And the veils of the people who have been sleeping will be lifted. And they'll either receive Christ. These are the non-believers, the lukewarm. They will receive Christ and accept him. Or if they deny his presence and deny Christ, again, they'll be condemned, go through tribulation, and their fate is their own. Um, okay, then the Lord gave me Second Corinthians 6, verse 16 and 18, and chapter 7 and 1. Um, chapter 7, verse 1. We are the temple of the living God, and we must come separate from the darkness. So we must walk in righteousness and holy. Do not defile ourselves with idols. Um, cleanse ourselves. Walk in righteousness. Walk in love. Walk in peace. Okay? Um, he get, also gave me Titus 3, verse uh, 1 through 15. Maintain good works, righteousness, love, peace. Okay, um, Christ suffered. We will go through persecution. Just stand in faith. Just know the Lord is with us. Christ resides in us, that he will walk with us. You're not alone. Okay, um, let's see. First, Thess uh, First Thessalonians five, seven one. Okay. Um, okay. Let me go back to Titus. He says, "The Lord says also, do not partake in arguing or foolish disputes. Always be in peace. Okay, because we are the light of the world. We don't want to partake anything of evil. Do not walk in the flesh. Walk in the spirit of holiness and fear of God. Okay." Um, then Thessalonians, just five, when you hear peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes. This is the earthquake. Uh, then sudden destruction comes uh, um, upon us as labor pain as a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day shall not overtake you as a thief in the night. And that's what the messengers are here for. That God's children are here to warn you this is what's coming. So you're not, um, you're not taken off guard to what is, what's happening. That's why God gives his warnings. That's why he tells us to prepare so we're ready and we stand in strength. That we're not... The people who don't want to hear are gonna are really gonna really have a hard time hearing this. Okay, James uh, three thirteen. Be wise and show. Be wise. Show yourself as a good conduct of so works. Um, works are be done in meekness of wisdom. Okay, any lying, deceitful acts, uh, speaking of the tongues, is demonic. Okay, but I, I want to read that. Um, 
You know what? Maybe I will. James, I have a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Whoever is wise and understanding among you, let him show let him show by good conduct that his works are done in meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and seek self seeking in your heart, do not boast and lie against the truth. The wisdom does not descend from above, but is earthly, sensual, demonic. Okay, for for whether envy and self-seeking exist in confusion and every evil thing are there. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceful, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy, good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Now the fruit of, this, of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Okay, because the power of your tongue is like fire okay the tongue is is so set among the members of our body that it defiles the whole body and it sets the fire of course of nature and it is set on fire by hell okay um, but no man can tame the tongue it is unruly evil full of deadly poison so watch um, our, our speaking, watch that we, we speak the word, don't take or add from it, uh, watch the lying lips, beware, be wise, and um, seek the Lord for all things. Okay, First Peter 3, 8 to 5, okay, that's done, First Peter. First Peter 3, okay, finally, all of you be one mind, having compassion uh, for one another, love us, brothers, be tender-hearted, be courteous, not returning evil for evil, revival for, for revival, but on the contrary, blessings, knowing that you were called to do this, that you may inherit a blessing, for he who loves life and sees good days, for let him Refrain his tongue from evil, his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on righteousness, and the ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. And those who is he who will harm you if you become followers of what is good. Okay, Acts 2.38. Okay. Then Peter said to them, Repent and, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Okay, and then 11, Acts 11, verse 16 it says, Then I remember saying the word of the Lord, how he said, John indeed baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Okay, so remember when we're out doing the will of the Lord, we want to, um, when God comes, he will be pouring out his holy anointing on his elect to go out and do the will. Um, we have times coming that are going to be hard on a lot of people um, who aren't believers and you haven't known the time that we're entering so we must go be gentle uh, be wise as doves um, gentle as doves be wise and let's bring them towards Christ we want to walk in love and peace if they don't receive it we leave um, we take we dust our feet off and um we're going to be healing, casting out demons. Let them confess, let them receive Christ, and um, cast out demons. Uh, we're heading for uh, rough, rough times. I pray that each and every one of you hear this, that uh, the four horsemen 
um, entering into the house, we need to have the knowledge of the word. We need to seek the Lord for the knowledge. We also, what we hear and what we see, do not trust what you're hearing and seeing. Take it to the Lord for all things because deception is going to fall on this land. Um, eventually the church will have to go underground because of the, the persecution, like Christ says, that um, he suffered. We're going to suffer too. We're going to see rough, rough times. So um, it is very late. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, I wish everyone well. God bless you. Please take this message to um, what you heard today to the Lord. And God bless you. And like I said, please share. This is very important. The three days of darkness. Um, CERN. With them using CERN, they're opening up a portal. Demonic. It's going to do uh, signs in the skies. Pole shift, earthquake, uh, three days of darkness, stay inside, stay in the word. God will will visit our home. If you're worthy to go and be a remnant to go out, um, be a servant, then you'll be going out and doing the will of the Lord. But stay in faith, okay? Please seek the Lord for all wisdom. God bless you. Have a great night.